one year ago if my dad saw a snail uh, killing one time all of a sudden this year he doesn't kill them he still doesn't eat them but at home we rear snails hi guys good morning i woke up this morning with strange cravings i want to eat roasted plantain and oil i had it a few days ago and since then my life has not been the same It don't mean. It's one of my first days back in the village and we're just trying to create like some order in the house and right now we want to plant water leaf where it is supposed to be and it is not there water leaf like other vegetables is a magical plant when you use the water leaf the stem is the seed for your next harvest easy work right Hey guys, so Bea and I we are walking on this space behind the house. We want to plant water leaf and what Bea? Green. And green. This is turmeric. Water leaf and green. So she she dug a hole and we saw some eggs there. Me and you don't argue say Nanyamangoro snails their egg is a what do you call it a snake or, or lizard it's a snake who even jokes about that kind of thing huh? oh, not, not but no bunny bunny uh, lay for ground so i want to break the egg i want to break one of the eggs to see what is inside if it's nyama we can leave it if it's who should not be mentioned so let's see how it goes. Buzzing. Mm -hmm. oh, Watali takes a very short time to grow, so in a week we already have new leaves budding. This is one of the things I love about the village. You don't get to eat artificial food. You don't get to spend to eat healthy. You just go to your farm, harvest food, and voila, the table is served. When we come for holidays, my dad would take us to the farm. He says it's tourism. And when you go for tourism, you walk. Hey, <laughs> you just be like, B.I., you, you want to film now? Come on, let's go for tourism in the granite farm. Before you want, before your eye wants to open, you don't have this granite to the tire. See the farm? Mm -hmm. uh, it'll be ready very soon. It'll be ready. Let's go. The neighboring farmers corn didn't do well. He wasn't around for a while and the grass grew taller than the corn. So it choked the corn and the corn didn't do well. Motivational speaker Goto say, if you don't take care of your relationship, it will not work. The grass is greener on the other side because the other person is watering their grass. So what are yours? I don't drop coat. Mm -hmm. You are nothing to do. So this is the usual scouting we do when we come to the village just to know where what was planted so that when they woke up to say would they go granola farm on a corn farm you know to say now outside this particular farm we've been working it since i can remember the people on the corn is to drive birds away because as your corn is strong but then too, so guys they we are here in this farm he walked like he was basically the one here taking care of this yeah. not mommy yeah. daddy yeah. corn eh? yeah. one corn we bear three the one in a three Three, three cups. The corn that they do now, two, 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 two. And I've never seen corn this long. It's so tall. So we want to see around the whole farm. Very rich. You see now. Mm -hmm. 
this pear tree is older than some of you for my age the pear tree all past me if you imagine and as it is getting older it's bearing more fruits yeah now it's vain that mango vein <laughs> Another interesting thing I love doing when I come down here, especially during this season, is to stay on the mango tree. I mean, I just stay there. I eat on the mango tree. I am happy on the mango tree. I just love eating the mango, so I just spend my time there. This year, I tried buying mangoes in Yaoundé, but I really never get the satisfaction because these people will sell. They cut, they go and harvest mangoes that are unripe and they sell and then in a bunch when you buy for a thousand francs in that bunch you have like five bad mangoes which makes no sense so today we are cooking plantain and greens they harvested the plantain while i was harvesting the green so that we could have our meal remember what i told you about village life you know everything is just around you like you don't go too far to eat you just need to you don't even turn around compound and then you go find trouble you go chop them love it and I just see it in this way. I remember mm -hmm. how we like, did for yeah. when an like acacia four, market, five, five, market you go, you want to buy plenty. Only expensive. <laughs> when in the house, the thing is just there everywhere. Yes, and you know that when we are having the holiday series, you're going to say hi to the livestock. So the pigs say hi, the goats say hi, the rabbits say hi, every inhabitant in this compound says hi and you're going to see them <laughs> see pay with the seller for your own day 500 250 300 now picky chop this so you won't go get pick hi At the end of the day, I never really eat pear because when I come down here, we have so much pear that it's not interesting. I don't eat it. And then when I go to Yaoundé, pear is so expensive that I cannot afford it. So at the end of the day, I don't eat pear. <laughs> because there was excess of it, my little sister started making pear oil with the pear so that all of it doesn't go to waste. Because even the pigs, they don't eat the pear. Ah uh ah. -uh. Pigs, they don't tire pear. Join us as we raise our hands to worship God. Thank you. God bless you.